powers it, working along to Business Garage. Um, bit of an update on the B van. Um, bit of a rush on. We've uh, got to try and go away at next weekend, so we've got a fair bit of work to do, but I'll let you know what we've done so far. So, in the back here. Okay, so we've now got the shelving unit in here. Um, and um, as you can see along here, we've got uh, cupboards all the way along with uh, deep storage. Uh, we put lights in on this side um, and there's a light on the other side the same. Uh, at the moment this is not fully in, um, but it's just, just about there. Uh, we've done the wiring for the TV and for the USB plugs behind the back. Uh, the roof, we've just had the roof lining out and we've just put insulation above the roof lining. Um, and um, so if we come around over to this side over here, we've just cut a small panel out of here. We're going to make a nice insert to go into there to give us a bit more space to um, to put the uh, storage on this side because there's no storage on this side, so cell phones and things like that. Um, and obviously we've got a light on the side here. Uh, we found this carpet stuff and we've just been gluing that on and I think that's going to be pretty good actually. We'll put carpet right along the whole side and then we're going to put the curtains up. So um, you're yeah, making some pretty good progress. Right, I'll just run you through this little setup here. So. This is our, um, I guess you call it power centre, nerve centre, what do you want to call it? So what we've got here is um, these uh, lithium iron batteries. Um, so they're originally from uh, Posty Bikes, which I managed to um, get from the tip. Um, I pulled them all apart and checked them all and charged them all. Uh, I've reconfigured them, so each of these is a um, 3.7 nominal voltage lithium iron battery. All of them together give me 12.6 volts lithium ion. This battery here is about 90 amp hours uh, in, in total. So what we've done from there is we run it through to a pure sine wave inverter. So we've got a 1000 watt sine wave inverter, which we've got a couple of plugs we're going to run up to some things up by the kitchen. We've got a main distribution fuse box here. Um, and then over here we've got our solar controller. Um, so we've got solar on the roof, and I'll give you a picture of that a little bit later. It's a 240 watt solar panel. This controller here is completely programmable with user settings. So what I've had to do with this controller is I've had to set it up so that it can work with the 12.4, it's 12.6 volt battery, um, and you can set all the charging parameters inside it. So that was quite fun to charge to check that up. I have connected it up, and um, it looks like it's going to work quite nicely. Um, also inside this battery here, we have a BMS, which is controlling the three cells uh, and obviously balancing them out so we can keep them to optimum um, capacity. Uh, and this is an MPPT charger as well. Um, really, really good deal. Um, I got on those. If you want to know where I got them from, just flip me a flip me a message and I can tell you where I got them from. I got this, the controller, the panel and the wiring, um, all for a really good price. Um, so yeah, that's an update of where we're at now and I'll add to it in a minute with some other bits and pieces. All right, so this is what we've done inside the van. Um, we've managed to get the majority of the kitchen sorted. Um, we've got the bench that we've got to still stain. It's going to be a dark grey colour for the for the bench. We've got the sink in uh, and the uh, movable faucet there with the cool little tap to turn it on and off. We still have to plumb in the pump uh, and sort out the bits and pieces of plumbing, but we're going to go and get some bits for that, get that sorted a bit later on. Um, we've got the fridge working, so the fridge is here. Um, Quite a good size fridge for us obviously, um, it's all very nice. Uh, uh, we have the solar controller here, which um, the solar controller's got to be mounted up somewhere but it's actually showing us that we've got a um, little bit of current coming in, charging the batteries and a little bit of going out as well. So it's all pretty happy, quite pleased with that. Uh, we've got the uh, the TV in, um, pretty sure it'll do it, just go in here and get the remote from the cupboard. Um, we can just turn the TV on and the TV will come on and this is on bracket so it can come right out and um, and obviously move all around wherever you want to see it so that's quite good um, we've also got some lights uh, put in some LED lights down the back there which are on flexible extensions um, and we've got some really cool looking curtains which Belinda has done a wonderful job to make those look nice uh, so we're actually doing pretty well um, the other thing I'd like to show you is underneath here if we slide out the toilet normally goes in here but you can see that's where all the uh, electrical equipment is stored away quite nicely in there. Obviously I've got to rewire where the uh, controller goes, but that works in there quite nicely. Uh, that should just fit back in there pretty easily. And we've got two other 
storage compartments here with some quite big boxes that slide in and underneath it. All we've done for these, we've actually just put carpet tiles underneath it and it slides really nicely on the floor. Um, so yeah, I think we're uh, we're all sorted. We're doing pretty well. We're going to sort the curtains for here and curtains for here. Um, but uh, all going well. We should be getting compliance this weekend and we'll be off following next weekend um, for our first trip away. So all good. Cheers.